From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Well, we had a little bit of snow yesterday, and uh, well, we'll be going over uh, the uh, snow amounts in just a second here. First, let's check out uh, the uh, look here in Girard. This is a Bob Friend of Ford World Weather Cam. And, you know, most of the time we look up the street, but this time uh, we're looking out over the buildings out toward the northwest here from the Girard Pharmacy. Uh, looking up there, we have some scattered clouds around uh, the area and some blue sky. Uh, finally, nice to see the sun out there, and uh, that will uh, hopefully boost our temperatures here in Erie uh, above 40 degrees. Here are the snow amounts from our weather watchers here, and uh, thank you all weather watchers for giving us your uh, snow totals. Uh, downtown Erie, all said and done, about one to three inches. Oh, Dr. Tom at Niagara Pier had hardly anything about a trace, and as expected, the lakefront got very little airport uh, you know an inch or two but uh, once you got the south mill creek uh, some spots about eight inches same here at our studios larry three inches in lake city didn't have to go far inland though to get the higher amounts now joe in northeast uh, probably the most of the lake effect uh, coastal areas that's six inches of snow larue and uh, out in greenfield township 12 inches union city 12 inches 14 for Becky at French Creek, uh, actually 20 inches at Edinburgh, 21 for Liz and Corey, and about a foot in Union City. What's incredible with these amounts, usually uh, we see these when there's uh, a lighter snowfall, but the heavyweight snow and still getting almost two feet uh, is really unusual. Uh, so the amounts, not so much, but the type, definitely unusual. Look at all these, 16, 14, at least a foot or more in Crawford County. Warren County had a late start, but uh, last night and uh, late yesterday afternoon, you started to kick into gear. 9 to 11 inches of snow out in Warren County. So lake effect, it's over. Cold winds, though, for today. Temperatures a touch milder and as we get on through tomorrow and into the weekend. Temperatures already going up. Many of weather watchers at or above freezing, all reporting uh, the snow is compacting and melting. And uh, that's going to be the case through the afternoon, especially if a little sun can come out. But it's chilly out there. If you haven't been outside to shovel or whatever, wind chills in the 20s and near 30 here along the lake shore. So here's the satellite radar composite. Hard to tell the clouds from the snow. This is all snow. It's totally sunny in Ohio, but that's how big this storm was going all the way down to Cincinnati and beyond. But we have nice tranquil weather coming up here. High pressure gives us a cold but dry night and keeping it dry for tomorrow. Uh, again, with a pretty good breeze. Now, as we head on toward uh, Friday, uh, this trough is going to approach, may set off a few showers. This storm system will be watched over the weekend. Right now, it looks like it'll stay far enough to the south and uh, not affect us, but we will check it out for Saturday. So gusty winds, sunshine here along the lakeshore, temperatures around 40. On the inland side, you have partly cloudy skies. Your temperature's upper 30s to near 40. Part of the mostly cloudy in the Chautauqua Legany area, your highs in the middle to upper 30s. From your weather authority, uh, we're going to have some breezy conditions uh, as we head toward Friday, maybe a late day shower, low 40s. We're going to keep Saturday dry for now, and then a chance of some uh, wet snow and rainfall for Saturday night and into Sunday. Get updates to that.